Most folks have never heard of major portions of the Constitution. If I were to say one of the chief ways to keep judicial activism under control and judiciary is the exceptions clause of the Constitution, people would say, what's the exceptions clause? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that. Well, let me just say it right now. What is what the is exception, exception clause? clause? Okay. <laughs> One of the notions that people have is the federal judiciary can deal with any issue that's out there, that, that they get to put the final word on any issue that, that, that is before the court. The Constitution says that the judges can only deal with those issues that Congress give them permission to deal with. So Congress can, and it, that's what's called the exceptions clause. The court can deal with anything except those issues that Congress withholds from it. So. We don't have to have a constitutional amendment to have voluntary school prayer. Congress can simply pass a law that says no federal judge can deal with the issue of prayer at a football game. We've accepted it out of their dominion. Wow. It's been done over 200 times in American history. It's a great way to keep judges under control because consistently what we have now is the higher the poll number of the people supporting an issue, the more likely it is for the judges to strike it down. Wow. They've gone into this mentality that says the role of the judiciary is to protect the minority from the majority. Wait a minute, that's oxymoronic. Mm -hmm. Because what you've just said is the role of the judiciary is to make the minority into the majority. Right. Then who protects the majority from the minority? You know, only one side ever wins in politics. And it's supposed to be the bigger side. That's why it's the consent of the governed. The judiciary is taking it on themselves to say, oh, if the governed are for it, that's unfair. So if we have a person over here that's an atheist, and doesn't want to hear anybody else say under God and the pledge, we'll make you all stop so that he won't be offended. Mm -hmm. That's not the role of government. That, 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 and the founding that's a fathers problem. set forth a provision to keep that that's kind right. of nonsense from happening. That's right. And we don't hear yeah, about we, it, we nor do we, we, we just it. debate it. Do you know, the Constitution is such an easy document. It, it, it is a short document. You can sit down, you can read it in a half an hour. It's just not a hard document to read. Most Americans have never read it even once in their life. The, in the period of time it takes to watch a sitcom, you could read the Constitution and know what that document says. But we rely on media to tell us what it says. We rely on law professors. We rely on guys like this to tell us what it says. Yeah. If we read it for ourselves, it's a, it's a no-brainer. It's a very easy thing.